Hey, Mount Tabor, Thor Jensen here, and I'm here today to tell you about something we're doing this summer called Summer in the Scriptures. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a challenge to everybody who goes to Mount Tabor to open their Bibles this summer and read a little bit of the Bible every day. You know, we take time for the pool, we take time to go to the beach, we take time to visit relatives, so we should be able to carve out a little bit of time every day to read the Bible. The Mount Tabor website has a schedule that says what books we're reading and what chapters we're reading every day. So I challenge you to go out there and check it out. This past week, over the span of seven days, we read from the book of Mark, chapters 13 through 16. And I wanted to share a couple of thoughts that I had on what I read. Now, in Mark chapter 13, verses 32 to 35, this is where Jesus tells his disciples that when he returns, we're not going to know when he returns. He could come back at any time, and we need to be ready. And one way we can be ready is to follow his commandments. And one way we know about his commandments is we read the Bible every day. Mark 14 includes an account of the Last Supper. Now, of Last Supper. Now, every time I read the, the account of the Last Supper, something else stands out to me. This time around, I put myself into the shoes of the disciples. Everything was going great for Jesus and his crew. Uh, they just had that, that um, entrance into Jerusalem. Everything was going great. They're having the Passover feast. And Jesus throws this big wet blanket on their party and says that one of them will deny him. And they all look around the room and think, Jesus, you're crazy. We're not going to do that. But sure enough, 30 verses later, Peter denies Christ three times. Now, we've all done this. But the great thing that I learned from this is that no matter what we do, Jesus still loves us. He knew that his disciples were going to fail him, but he forgave them, and he still loves us. Mark ends with the best news of all for us. Now, Mark 15 is the uh, account of the crucifixion and death of Christ. But Mark 16 is his resurrection. And he ends chapter 16 by telling us to go into the world and tell, tell everyone the good news. I really hope you take our challenge and commit to summer in the scriptures. The thing is, with, there's really no excuse to not do it. With technology today, you have your phone with you everywhere. You can even listen to the Bible being read to you by people. So there's really no excuse to not do summers in the scriptures.